This is the biggest, most physically painful challenge I have ever faced as a creative park builder. I'm going to build in Jurassic World Evolution 2 like an Xbox One or PS4 gamer. No all buildings, no all biomes, no keyboard, no mouse. Instead, I have a controller. We're going from WASD to WTF. Pain, suffering. Will I manage to build something awesome or will I rage quit? Let's find out. If you're new to the channel, I'm Evo and I build a lot of creative parks. With mouse and keyboard normally, but without mods. So subscribe for tips, tricks and inspiration. So this is literally my first time holding a controller in like, uh, well over a decade. It's been 84 years. Okay, now here's the thing. <laughs> How do I get to settings? Uh, hold on, maybe this. Yeah. How do I get back? This is forward, backward. This is like the WASD. And this is turning the camera on a point. Okay, that's simple enough. <laughs> she says that now. She says that now. This will not. None of this will be simple. <laughs> Oh, I'm actually not sure if reversing the axis is uh, doing me any favors here. The first order of business for me now is uh, a couple of tests. These are the controller trials. And what I'll be doing is I'll be making a little path art thing. I'll be making a monorail roof. I will be lining path with decorations. And finally, I'll be doing the monorail glitch and the monorail glitch we're gonna be using then to create a habitat and um, a rival area for the park, which is like, you know, my, my first foray into console gaming. Wait, I li I'm literally already forgetting how to control things. Uh, zoom out. <laughs> this is gonna be so painful for people to toggle curve. Okay. You know, we're not gonna get too extreme with path art cause you know, give me a break. <laughs> But we have to do something, right? So let's start with a circle. <laughs> oh, this is difficult. <laughs> oh God. One eternity later. It's a thing, it's an eyeball. <laughs> Looking at me in disappointment and disdain. Oh, oh God, we have some, we have some bad, bad clipping, bad clipping. What are you even doing right now, game? I'm moving this this thing quite significantly, in my opinion, and it doesn't affect the cursor at all. And then all of a sudden, it's like, wee! Yeah! Wow, that was that was so smooth. There's like a there's like a point right right in between, but he wants to snap there. Oh no, he moved! <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, place it place it place it place it place it. Place it. I do hope you're gonna enjoy my suffering. Um, if you do, please give the video a like. <laughs> oh, we're gonna be here all day, people. We're gonna be here all day. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing at myself. That's the point of this video, okay? It's, it's, it's the reason we're all here. Well, I, th oh God, I think I'm here because my mother didn't love me enough. <laughs> Clearly I have unresolved issues that I would do this to myself, clearly. Oh my god, it's so... <laughs> it's so not... okay. <laughs> so what I want to do for the next challenge is I want to line path with decorations. We'll, we'll, we'll vary the degrees of difficulty, okay? If you'll, if you'll allow me, we're gonna start with this one. How did I turn again? Oh right. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> oh my god, I nailed it. Oh, oh no, random rotation is still on. Random rotation is still on, I'm pretty sure. Ah! <laughs> like, there's there's no denying that this is taking me a million times longer than it would on PC. It's not, you know, it's not exactly quick on PC either. But, you know, it's nothing compared to this. Good enough. <laughs> okay, now we're really gonna go into torture mode. <laughs> Here we go again. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, it's so, it's such a nightmare. <laughs> oh no. 
I mean, to be fair though, you can like Jurassic World Evolution 2 console edition is keyboard and mouse compatible. So honestly, I don't even know why you would play it like this. Uh, just get a cheap mouse and keyboard and and connect those. I am still playing on my PC. I just connected a controller. I did buy a controller specifically for this video. So if you could please give it a like, give it a comment, help me out so that maybe I can I can break even on this video. That'd be really cool. I'm going so I'm going so off. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so next test. You can you can judge for yourself whether or not I I passed the tests. <laughs> But we are gonna move on. Uh, the next test is monorail roof. What you do for the monorail roof is you sort of just give yourself a guideline. 90 degree angle, let it snap. And then we're gonna grab guess. Well, we're not gonna grab guess, not without their consent at least. Oh, I just, okay, if you keep flicking, you just go back to the top. Oh God, I did it again. Okay, there you go. And then here, you just pull it out all the way and give it an extra little thing. There, okay. And you, you just start over like that. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, don't be, don't be sneaky. Okay. By the way, if you, like, if you play this game on console, let me know in a comment down below, like, do you do stuff like this? Like the, the monorail track? Do you line paths with, with planters and little wall pieces? Like, do you even do stuff like this? Or are you just like, oh my god, I, I can't be bothered. Just please give me give me dinosaurs and end my suffering. You know what? This is not going too awfully. Because this is a this is a nightmare on PC. I I would say to the same degree, honestly. Well maybe maybe a little bit easier. But like it's always a struggle to like get it as close as possible. Oh, but there, not too close. Come on, baby. Oh, come on, baby. I think I can get a... Yeah, there you go. I knew it! I knew I could get it a little bit closer. Alright, so this is the last one. So we don't have to extend it. Y for delete. Oh. <laughs> I did pretty well. It's a little messy, but honestly, it turns out a little messy on PC as well. That took me 30 minutes. Let's all pretend that that's not the case. So for consistency, we're going to load into this map again. But now what I need to change is this right here. We're going to go for Jurassic World buildings back and we're going to go for... There you go. Not all biomes, but the current biome. So with these settings, it's the same as with an older console. <laughs> Okay, so the next test before we uh, build our habitat is to do the monorail glitch. And what we're going to start with... Oh, you can adjust the radius. Oh, like that. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Let's... So we're going to dig down first and foremost. Right, I'm going to make the monorail glitch longer than it needs to be uh, for the build that I'll be doing. What build am I doing? I have no idea. But I'm making it longer than what it needs to be for what I'm actually going to be doing today, just to test myself. You know, this is still the controller trials. All right, pull out a piece. Are you going to snap on? You're not going to snap on? Oh, there you go. There you go. It just took you a while, huh? Environment. Going up. First floor. Ladies underpants. Hold on to your butts. Gonna pull this out straight. Whee! I don't know how to get to the little dotted things. No. Like there's a there's a little tab up above. There's the dash line and there's the three dots. How do I get to the three dots? I don't know. Oh! What did I do? Okay, never mind. Okay. Cool. We're gonna pull it out. Wait, we need to zoom out for this. There. You don't want the bump. Actually, I think... Oh, huh? Why is Y not delete? Why is map? How do I... Wait, I thought Y was delete. Apparently not if you're in any other mode. Okay, very strange. Wait, hold on. But what's, what's the hotkey for delete then? Does delete not have a hotkey? You have to do that? Like, you have to do that? That's a little bonkers, not gonna lie. 
I keep for like I keep forgetting how to do things. Like I using more brain function than I usually do. Like every every single thing requires me to think about it. There you go. We did the monorail glitch. Okay. Okay, so something I want to do to just prevent me from accidentally moving it is put something under there that can't be moved with the train. So I'm going to go with a container in this case. And all the way at the end as well. Whee! There. Yeah, see, and this just makes sure that I don't accidentally raise up the end of the monorail track there. Because if, if I do, the whole track is going to become lopsided. All right, so what I think I want to do is I want to glitch it up in here. And what we're going to be doing is creating... Uh, but we're going to be creating an island in a lagoon. And we're going to have the tour pass over the, uh, the lagoon. Wait, I'm not explaining this well. We're going to have a lagoon island. So a piece of land completely surrounded by a lagoon. Oh, I just... Wait, what... What did I hit? Hey, what did I touch? So yeah, islands surrounded by lagoon, and the tour is gonna take people off the island. Oh, my track is actually not completely flat. So the arrival point is gonna be on that little mini island, surrounded by lagoon, and to get into like the park proper, people have to um, use the tour. I do find it quite difficult, as you might have been able to tell from like me struggling to explain what I'm gonna do. I am really using more brain power. <laughs> <laughs> on on just building than I normally would. Like, there there's always weird things happening in my brain. Uh, you know, computing cycles are being taken up, that's for sure. But it's definitely more, more pronounced now. The way I'm lining up the lagoons with the monorail here, I'm actually gonna change up entirely. I'm gonna delete all of this and start over. So that means you're gonna see some really slight continuity errors in the next step. So I wanna line up the dash line with the center of the monorail. It's just a huge amount of wiggle. I think I'm just gonna go go for that, honestly. You want the track like in the middle. I think that's good enough. And there, we're gonna place one like that. That's gonna make it way easier. There, this is, okay. So this is the max width of the island. Okay, 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 okay. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Let me erase my first. Oh god, I keep doing that. Like, I keep hitting the X with my nail. I don't even have long nails. Sketching is really, really hard on console. Really, you guys, you have to answer me this. You have to answer me this. Please, please do me, do me the honor of telling me this. Why do you not just use mouse and keyboard? Seriously, because I, I think there's a reason that I just don't get. I, I'm not, like, being condescending here. But there there has to be a reason, and I would just love to know. What is the reason for not just hooking up a mouse and keyboard? Because there's no denying that this is more difficult. And I would also say there's no denying that the ease of a mouse and keyboard would be worth, you know... The 20 bucks that is going to be to buy a mouse and keyboard. Like, I, I would go as far as to say, invest in a mouse and keyboard before you invest in any DLC. I would go that far. I would say, don't buy DLC, however many DLC it takes to save up to buy a mouse and keyboard. That's how far I would take it. Okay, how do I turn this? How do I turn this? Making use of its orientation. Ha ha ha, cheated. Oh god, no! Oh, what did I do? Okay, that's how you turn it. But how do you turn it on the other axis? Yeah, turning is another thing. I just keep forgetting how it works. Okay, how do you turn it on the other axis? Toggle axis RS. What the frick is RS? I'm literally looking at the controller right now. What's RS? I don't know how to turn this on the other axis. Oh my god. Y'all... All aboard the struggle bus. Oh, yeah. I don't mean to keep complaining, but, like, what else am I gonna do? <laughs> there's just... There's just so much time to complain. <laughs> I have to do something. Also, let's be honest. That's what you... That's what you came for. That's what you came for. 
I'm just waiting for like the random rotation to give me give me a rotation that I want or to like rotate it on the axis that I want because I don't know what RS is it does require like way more patience to do all of this than it would on PC like I can feel like I can definitely feel myself wanting to to quit you know wanting to be like eh Good enough. We, we we don't have to cover the full track. Whatever. We don't have to do that. It's fine. But no, I, I need to need to try to make you proud. Are you proud, mom? Yeah, some, some baby rocks. Baby rock, rock, rock. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm just really trying to entertain myself here. And if I entertain you in the meantime, that's that's just a bonus. But at the moment, it's, it's purely selfish motivations here to keep me going. I'm gonna have to take a break and not even because of like the patience is waning but I do feel myself getting like some motion sickness I've been recording for an hour guys this has taken me an hour that's crazy what we're gonna do now is bring back in the lagoon things and okay so we need to make it an island so oh Okay, hopefully it's literally just that one rock right there. Okay, so this will be a good test. Hold on. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. First, we're gonna save. All right. So just in case I accidentally delete the monorail track doing this, we need to get rid of this rock right there. All right. Actually, that went fine. Okay. I've been traumatized since the previous episode of Mini Sorna. Like the, the first episode, I, I just, that was just a nightmare. God, and that was that rock. And th this is another thing that I'm experiencing as like the most annoying. Uh, th the way you have to navigate to the delete, the delete tool. Okay, so is that is that the island shape we're gonna go with? I don't know, we might be able to make it a little bit more interesting actually. Here, see? Now, granted, you can access, access the lead tool from, like, certain build modes. Which I'm not properly utilizing. I think that's the size we're gonna go with. Okay, an hour. And literally, the only thing I've done is this and my console trials. Uh, but I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a little break now. Before I barf. <laughs> the next day. Okay, we're back. It's been a day. Um, it feels, uh... <laughs> Even worse now. What was it again? Yeah, there you go. The nightmare continues. So I want to build something on this island. And what I want to build is an entry section for the park and a little habitat, like an introductory habitat. Ugh, this is so scary. <laughs> I want to get rid of the tour building because I want to relocate it. There's so much I want to do and so, so little knowledge <laughs> of how to achieve it. Oh god. Uh, 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 oh, this is so scary. There, okay. Alright, zoom out. Turn around every now and then. I <laughs> Sorry. Oh. You know what would have been really funny? Uh, not is if I had accidentally deleted the monorail while I did that dumb joke. Okay. Okay. So, one thing I want to do is I want to expose essentially expose the uh, monorail here and that's why I want to have the track come off the monorail because otherwise this beautiful pillar right here we would not be seeing now I don't want it to get too tall so maybe yeah maybe like this how did I angle it up again Ooh is that good enough yeah I think the okay that's a fairly decent depth okay we're gonna bring that to the edge Oh wow, what are those frame rate drops? What are what are those frame rate drops? What is happening? Okay, so this is apparently the lowest I can go around the lagoon, so I actually have to amend that a little bit. Seriously, 50, 40, what is happening? Am I actually playing on an older console right now? Why are my frames dropping this bad? Honestly, I feel like I'm getting very ambitious with this build, because I I have things in mind that I haven't even done on PC yet. Yeah, probably not the best thing to be trying out brand new things. 
when I'm working with a controller that I have zero experience with. But you know, what's the point of not being ambitious with it? Oh no, hold on, I realized something. I realized I'm stupid. Of course there needs to be a ramp on this side as well. Otherwise I'm still gonna have the tour track all across the monorail and I don't want that. Well, that really, that took me a while to uh, come to that conclusion. That's very interesting. This is what I'm saying, man. Like these controls use up so much brain function. I have nothing left. I have nothing left. I mean, I would assume that if I, if I, if I give it like a couple of hours, like maybe a few hundred, I'd be able to like get this into my muscle memory, but that's not the situation we are in currently. Is that gonna be enough space? Let's give it a little bit more, maybe even more than that. Okay, that is plenty of space. She says full of confidence, full of unearned confidence. So we have a complete track that takes guests out of this little, little teeny tiny arrival area and takes them into the rest of the park. We have some of that exposed concrete wall that I like to use. We have exposed the monorail track. We have successfully saved our pillars, but let's get this flush with the lagoon so that, um, you know, we can add viewing galleries that look into the lagoon. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's a good idea. I think what I'm building right now is something I would absolutely, absolutely love on PC. I think it, I think on PC it would turn out Really, really, really cool. Uh, but I mean, again, I'm, I'm playing on PC, but you sort of just forget. But yeah, I don't have much faith that it's going to turn out that cool with the uh, control limitations that I'm dealing with. It's so, it's so, so difficult. I don't even think this video is going to be funny anymore because it's just me going. <laughs> It's literally just it. It's just me crying because it's just. Ugh. Yeah. Okay. I think I have it figured out. Now, now just to make a straight line across. <laughs> that's 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 straightish. That's straightish. Here. Okay. So this is where guests go down. There. There you go. Something like that. Because what I really wanted to keep was have like this central point where you. You know, you look out over the monorail track. That's kind of cool. All right. Oh, what a painful experience this is. Okay. Now for the entry building. Do you also get sweaty hands playing with playing with the controller? Or is that just me being like <laughs> anxiety central right now? <laughs> this is so not relaxing. <laughs> There, entry point in the little corner. Let's just get in the buildings that I want. And then it sort of just becomes connect the dots. Attractions. This one. Well, that's not gonna work, but yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, wait, how? Hold on, hold on. This is interesting, because obviously on PC, what you can do now is if you hold control, you can place multiple buildings. Multi places RS. I don't know where RS is, game. Stop it. <laughs> Where? What's RS? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I'm literally looking at the thing right now. Nothing says RS. Uh, and like I said, I want to have a teeny tiny habitat. I think it's going to be a truly teeny tiny habitat. I think it's literally just going to go down here. So it would be absolutely mini, wouldn't it? We're going to delete all of this, okay? This is, this is also always ugly in my normal mouse and keyboard parks. I always have like this little ugly off to the side station. Synthesize. Oh yeah. You know what? I want Moza. I kind of also want Arklon. I know that doesn't really make sense. Oh, you know what? No, we're going to do we're gonna do Shonosaurus. Let's do Galaxy Shonosaurus. How do I... How do I... No! Oh, there you go. Okay. We're gonna cancel the Moza. What were my time controls? I think... Here? No. Here. Oh. Ah, there you go. Select. Uh, select all. Begin task. I wanna... I wanna delete the Moza. Discard. Yes. And we're gonna combine... That makes more sense. Because Shoni, you know, is peaceful. Peaceful sea blimp. 
So it makes more sense to do that with the uh, with the Archelon than most Saurus. And then in terms of little species, like little ground species, what would I want? What would be like a good welcome? This park is totally not dangerous. Find a dinosaur. You know, that's, you know, there's a lot of pressure on like what the first dinosaur in your park is. And you really wanted to say get excited, but not not afraid you know there there's there's a very important distinction there so w which dinosaur communicates that with our guest is i think the challenge here it really does have to be small so how about okay filter y filter a schmoy i don't want to go too small but i want to have an animal that kind of looks like it wouldn't need a lot of space so I'm thinking either a small Ankylosaurid, like Crichtonsaurus, or Dimetrodon. Because, you know, it has that stout pit bull kind of build. Yeah, you would imagine this animal doesn't need a whole lot of running around space. So I think we're going to go with this one. And I quite like the um, the Dominion skin, so we're just going to go for that. Okay, so that's that's what we're going to be having in in our habitats look at this huge freaking lagoon so let's add lagoon rocks those would be over here uh yeah put put them right in front of that um although it would also be cool to have one close to the bridge so let's do that as well there so they can get really close to that. Oh yeah, and this also makes sense for why we wouldn't want the Mosasaurus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I made the right. I made the right call. Now I'm not gonna decorate the lagoon, and uh, that's not cheating because that's also something I don't bother with on a mouse and keyboard. be a very small habitat but you guys know me that's just the way it is I'm gonna do that take off a little corner it's about even I would say Ooh. now obviously I'm not gonna have invisible fence or something like that so we're gonna have to get creative with it so i think i'm gonna line oh, oh. this all of this we're gonna give it a rock wall to contain them the creative juices are really being just hampered by the whole like just the idea of oh i'm gonna have to align all of that and i can't use the multi wall pieces i have to use the little concrete barriers it's just a whole it's a whole lot it's a whole lot now, I will say, I've seen, like, people build absolutely amazing things on console. Uh, one of my moderators, for example, and I'm pretty sure uh, they they don't use mouse and keyboard. So, I know that it's possible. So, maybe, you know, if you're more practiced and you have a, a better, f like, muscle memory for this, for this whole thing, maybe... I can't, I can't even talk. I can't even talk. It is so just, oh my God. And seriously, I'm moving, I'm moving the thing right now. Nothing happens. And there, and now all of a sudden it does happen. It's just so inconsistent as well. Like it's just, it's honestly, it's just ridiculous how much you can move this little joystick sometimes and have absolutely nothing happen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change it up. Okay. I'm gonna think in solutions here because I really don't want to... I don't want to. I don't want to do this. So we're gonna see if we can find something else to line it with. So what I think, there, this is gonna give us a whole lot more distance. Yeah, that's how we're gonna do it. It's still a nightmare, but you know, it's gonna be a shorter nightmare. You know what I could even do? If I alternate, it might stand out a little bit less if they're not like perfectly aligned. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Look, I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna so uh, I am again gonna go so far as to say, don't buy, don't buy any of the DLCs. Save, save up some money. Don't buy the DLCs. Just buy a mouse and keyboard. Love yourself and buy a mouse and keyboard. <laughs> unless, unless you play the game totally differently, you know. Unless you're not this kind of park builder, which I get. You know, not everyone builds parks the way I build parks. <laughs> Would you please just? Oh my God. 
cooperate for frick's sake man yeah my my respect for for the people who build like pretty parks on on console with 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 controllers has skyrocketed i i bow to every single one of you it's unbelievable it's unbelievable oh my god oh god that's like giving birth and the game is not doing it any favors either because i would i would love to be able to oh for freak's sake man i would love to be able to zoom in more to make my actions more precise but i can't this is as zoomed in as i can be and it's the same it's the same on um with mouse and keyboard obviously that doesn't change but with mouse and keyboard, you don't need the extra help to be precise, and it would be nice with uh, with console. I re I'm really gonna have to take a break soon because the nausea is getting quite intense. It's intense. It's really, really, really intense. Uh, okay, uh, back. No, that's not delete when you're outside of any placing mode. That would logically give me more space, so maybe I'd be able to fit them in. Okay, so this is way too much space. It's always something, isn't it? Zero percent fun is being had right now. Like, I might- maybe, like, the one thing is, you know, maybe I'll feel extra accomplished if I manage to pull something off here and that's, like, something- ooh, something to look forward to. That's, like, the one thing, maybe. Like, look at what I was able to do with this- incredible hurdle <laughs> but this is not this is not putting me in the zone the way it does uh, normally and i just realized that i don't have the plants that i had in mind to fill this up so really the only thing i can do to make that less weird now is to go back go to path and just fill it in to take a break it's been an hour and i'm gonna throw up i think i apologize for this video being so negative i'm usually a very positive upbeat park builder so please if you want to see more creative builds built by someone who is actually enjoying herself check out the other videos on the channel and consider subscribing all right i am back i am ready to cry we're gonna continue this build oh pray for me okay so what i wanted to do is get path on the top here and let's switch it up let's make it this color honestly this area is probably yeah it is bigger than i anticipated honestly there and then how do i switch to toggle like this come on come on come on come on um and then i want to have path come out from here i can see that this building is a little lopsided so what we might do is move that maybe that's better i don't know so that that's about that's about the thickness we're going for and then let's switch it to fancy let's go a little skinnier with it and just connect that straight from here is it straight? I think that's straight enough. And then the idea here... Okay, so how do I want to connect the buildings? I think on this side. So, path again, path again. Okay. Oh, I, I clicked B. Whoops. Okay, so that's, that's far enough. We don't need too many amenities. You know, guests have just arrived at our park, so you don't... They don't need much, but, you know, we want to introduce them to the Jurassic world of capitalism and allow them to buy their first overpriced, you know, stuffed animal, drink their burger, you know, the usual. Um, I think we can go with medium. Yeah, we can. We'll do a restaurant and a shop. Again, I don't know where RS is, so I don't know how to place multiple buildings at once. I'm not going to customize them because I don't... On the, on the on the mouse and keyboard either <laughs> okay so i want to align that central line and sort of create the idea that you know there's uh, you know an entrance and an exit path do i have the banner i do not have the banner do i have the gate i do not have the gates that's sad that makes me sad you know that gives me sad feelings deep deep inside uh maybe we'll do a little little fountain moment give it some sort of wow factor oh no is there a slight 
There's the there's the teeniest tiniest bit of uh, elevation difference, an absolutely invisible amount of terrain difference. That's insane. Again, the 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 takeaway from this video is gonna be adapt, adapt, survival of the fittest. We're not gonna start over and flatten this. No no no. no. That's not how this build is gonna go. No, we're gonna adapt. And that's the that's the positive spin that I'm gonna put on it. You've broken me, okay? You've broken me. You've broken my spirit. The controls are also, honestly, significantly stiffer than it is to, uh, to you know, press a key on a keyboard or hit hit the mouse. So I also imagine it's just a lot harder on your fingers. Okay. Here, and we're gonna line that, which is, uh, Okay, so what had I figured out? If you get it, like, perfectly in a vertical line, it might be a little bit easier. Yeah, that is, that is easier. So that's really how you have to approach it. And then make sure that you hit the little joystick precisely to the right. Yeah, I can totally imagine playing this all day that the thumb of my left hand would really, really hurt. Because I feel like I'm using quite a bit of pressure to move that little joystick. It's very stiff. That's just one of the things that I think about, you know, as a content creator. Uh, whose job it is to do this sort of stuff. I do think about, you know, carpal tunnel syndrome and stuff like that. I think if you, if you play this game, you know, professionally, like your income depends on it. Controllers are not the way to go. You're gonna ruin your hand, I feel. Oh, 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 it's so annoying. Jesus. I mean, that does waste quite a bit of space, doesn't it? Something I'm thinking about, it's not really part of adapt and survive, but... Delete. Delete. Let's get rid of... Let's pull it back a little bit. Here, let's do let's do that. You know, let's not waste too much space. Hmm. Twelve bucks worth of terrain work, okay? Right, okay, so what if we delete this one? Uh, now, the question is, can I still fit these over here? Oh, this game tests me so much. This is, obviously this isn't console related. This is just the game being an absolute menace to society. So what I think I need to do is I need to get rid of everything that keeps the terrain in place. Oh, I can't I can't delete him anymore. Oh, game. Oh. F I don't think this video is going to be fun if I rage quit, but that is that is the status of of the mind right now. Just want to get a freaking building there. The fact that I can't is just it's so obnoxious. It's so obnoxious. All right, that means we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to waste the space. We're gonna have to pull it forward because we had it like this, right? I'm sorry. And again, that's not to do with the console, but I think I think in a way maybe it does have to do with the console actually because I think my patience and my frustration levels are already being tested with with this with this nonsense that makes the things that are wrong with the game just be like the straw that broke the camel's back you know normally i'd be able to take this on the chin and it's fine whatever we'll start over we'll place uh we'll replace everything that's fine and i re I, I really cannot bring myself to do that maybe if i change the buildings to small like, we can't get them any closer to here, but then at least we can get a little bit of path out of it. I keep forgetting that that does not open the delete function if you're outside of any sort of other construction mode. Yeah, okay, so that that's, that's how we're gonna do it then. This is how we're gonna do it. Okay... So much. 
Okay. Uh, think, 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 think. How? Why? Mostly why? Like you can't even see it. This is, this looks flat. And even if you go into like the environment editing, there's no like. There's no terrain line. All right, so we're gonna go asymmetrical. We're gonna adapt again. I'm gonna assume that again. Is it an excuse to get out of this situation? Yes, it 100% is. So the idea is instead of that thing, let's use this. Uh, entry point, uh, there. That's, okay, I like that. That, that makes that feel a little less wasteful. And then in here, Grab this one again. I think it's kind of cool to put one right here. Oh god, how do I connect these two? Complete connection? For frick's sake. Okay. <sighs> yes, I'm, I'm quite sure. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And the next one. Ooh, what might be cool. I don't... We can't really get it under the bridge. Um, because I think he will... Oh, we can get it right under the bridge. That's cool. Hold on a second. I didn't I didn't think we could do that, but we can. That's really, really nice. Okay. Oh, I like that. It's not what I wanted, but again, I'm not too attached to symmetry. So, you know, it's, it's not that big of a deal. It's just a shame that, you know, it's a necessity instead of a design choice. You know, as, as long as the end result is going to turn out nice. You know, I mentioned this this earlier. Like, the the idea that you might get, like, this wave of satisfaction once you're done. Like, oh my god, I can't believe I pulled that off. That's, like, the one thing that keeps you pushing through. <laughs> so that's just... I really need that to be the end result here. That I'm... I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom out and I'm gonna be like, wow, I'm so proud of myself. It was so worth it. Here, for once, well, it's not really a square. It's, I think, oh, well, it's pretty, it's pretty close. It's slightly on the longer side. Oh God, I keep doing that. Here, fancy. Oh, we're so fancy. Oh my. And this will fill in some other way. Toggle. Toggle. You know, I'm trying... Like, what I'm going for is that the end result is still... You know, you look at it and you, and you go... Oh, yeah! Uh, yeah, that's that's an Evo Park. Okay. You know, that's that's what we're going for. And whether, whether you like an Evo Park, you know, that's a whole different matter. I want to achieve the same sort of building style. That's what I'm capable of normally... So that's what I should be capable of with a controller. Should be. Debatable. So we have a couple of cutouts that are going to be turned into gardens. There, and then connect a building to that. I think that's kind of cute. Okay, rinse and repeat then. Cool. Oh, I think, yeah, I do I do like that. I do like that. It gives, it gives us a little bit of height. Let's give this a nice border. I really am my own worst enemy when it comes to all of this, though. Oh, it, it, it did a weird clipping. I'm not actually too mad at it, though. Path is like a donut. It is best... When it's filled. I say that, but I'm so basic. I actually just like regular glaze, but don't tell anyone, okay? Alright, phew. We're finally all filled in. I so wish... I so wish I knew... <laughs> where our S is. Just waiting for a flat orientation. That's 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 decent. 
Eventually, obviously, it has to, like, complete the habitat. But we want it to look pretty natural. So that's why we're going with, you know, all these weird orientations. I should, I should switch up the, uh, the rock type anyway. Alright. You know, I want to avoid just creating a super neat line of rocks. So we're going a little bit all over the place with it. You know, obviously something like this is easier to do with invisible fencing if you have that available in your era. But that's actually not going to give you the nicest results. So this is something that I would even do, you know, whether I have the invisible fencing or not. Because this just, just, just ends up looking nicer. And of course, we're going to do the thing we always do, which is use our imagination and we're pretending that there is invisible fencing like actual invisible fencing underground here that's going to be containing the animals now that we're here let's grab some water don't want to oh don't do that we do not want to mess with the terrain i want to give them like a nice amount of water because dimetrodon likes that a little bit of terrain paint get it sandy a little bit mossy. This also adds rocks in the... Oh god. In the habitat. That just grounds that whole rock wall a bit more, you know? It makes it look less like it's intentionally placed like that to keep the, the Dimetrodon contained. It's more just part of the natural landscape. Okay. Carnivore feeder. Does that still fit anywhere? Probably not, because I, I noticed what happened with the terrain. The terrain went up a teeny tiny bit when we placed the water. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Oh, there you go. Wow. All right, we are nearing the three hour mark. I have been recording for three hours, uh, split over three times, and this is the result. So obviously this excludes the, uh, the controller trials, but yeah, that's pretty abysmal. <laughs> Is testing me? Incredible. Like I'm just I'm just gonna accept that. I can't like I'm so beyond being bothered by that. My, f my fingers hurt. Don't you guys' fingers hurt? Okay, now these things. We're not gonna line them with planters. Because the thing is, it's just gonna be messy. Hello? Wait, is that not how it works? Oh, I'm clicking on B again, for frick's sake. No, because I can't, I can't do planters neatly. So I think trying to line this with planters is just gonna make it stand out that they're all just a little crooked and it's not really working for me. So I think by using the rocks, which are more messy to begin with. It won't be that noticeable, you know, that the distance is uneven and all of that stuff. Adapt. Ugh. Ugh. Seriously, oh, my fingers are so stiff. And I've only been playing for an hour now. My poor, weak WASD hands. You know, that's, that's fairly nice. That's fairly nice. Let's go for this one. Just because it's a little bit more general, you know? The Spinosaurus skull is really nice. I'm really happy we have it. But it's so themed. I always feel like the need to only place that where there's a Spino. Nice. That's that's super cool. That's really, really, really cool. This game is so cool. Okay, so something that I always do. So I feel like I should do it here. I'm gonna I'm gonna regret oh, I already regret this. I already regret this so much. Oh wow, oh wow, oh I can, I could cry, I could cry. I'm in physical pain right now, like I feel nauseous from the motion sickness, my hands hurt. You know, initially I was like, ooh, if this video gets a lot of, uh, gets a lot of views, 
I'm gonna do more videos with the controller. No. No, I will not be doing more videos with the controller. Um, I would really appreciate it if you guys would help me, like, recoup the cost of the controller by just giving the video a like, leaving a comment. I would really, really, really appreciate it, because this one, this one's for you. But it's, it's just the one. It's just the one. We're not gonna be doing this again. No heckin' way. I don't know, I'm just gonna keep complaining, because at this point it's the only thing this video has to offer, honestly. Okay, but it is, it is coming together, though. All of that being said, all of that complaining, it is coming together. I don't want to go too big with the trees in the habitat, because I don't want to block the view of, uh, of the rest of this area. So we're gonna go quite small with it. Yeah, let's go a little bit bigger off to one side here. But you know, we want to we wanna keep that view of this area open. And I, I like using a bit more green. I have to stop. I'm getting so sick. And I don't mean that as like a cutesy exaggeration. I'm like really sick right now. All right, yeah, I'm gonna have to stop. I'm finishing the build with a speed build because I also wanted to get a sense of what it was like building with the controller and not narrating at the same time, which uses brain power. And I'm a terrible multitasker. But also narrating kept me really focused on all the things that were annoying me about building with the controller. So for this part, I just spent an hour building while some YouTube videos were playing on my second monitor. The way I always build when I build something for a speed build video. And it was a vastly different experience. I had a lot more patience, not struggling to fill the long awkward silences. The YouTube videos were keeping me entertained and all combined, I had a pretty good time building, which is obviously a more comparable gaming experience to what a non-content creator would have. So that was really eye-opening. Now don't get me wrong, <laughs> it wasn't any easier or faster or less physically painful, and I still felt like throwing up after an hour and I needed to lie down, but it was less frustrating. Overall, my experience with the controller was still very negative, clearly. And it's really mostly to do with the lack of precision and how time consuming it is when it comes to placing the decorations. I think everything else is more or less okay, especially if you have more experience with the controller. The actual limitations of the older generation of consoles, which is being restricted to one era of buildings and one biome for the placeable foliage, is disappointing. And being so used to having everything, I did regularly forget that there are some things I didn't have. So I'd have that moment of realization and I'd have to adjust. But having already built a full park with just the Jurassic Park buildings and decorations and really enjoying that entire build and the end result, it is a pretty minor issue when not compounded by my frustration with the controller and the very intense motion sickness and the pain in my hands. I spent a total of four hours and 15 minutes recording this video. About half an hour of that were the controller trials. So the build itself took roughly three hours and 45 minutes. Part of that time was wasted on just trying to figure out the design, so it's not entirely representative of the build time. I can confidently say it would have been way faster if I'd been building it with mouse and keyboard, but I just don't know how much faster. I do, however, think that the quality of the end result is very similar to what I would have built with my beloved mouse and keyboard. Thankfully, after all that pain and suffering, I did get that satisfaction of finally completing the build and being really, really happy about it. If you give the video a like, then it was all worth it, in my opinion. And I guess the takeaway is, frustratingly, something that I already knew, so for that, it wasn't really worth it. But the takeaway is, you can build amazing stuff on console, even on older console with the limitations, as long as you have the creativity and a whole lot of determination and patience. If you build stuff like this, parks full of decorations and detail with a controller, genuinely massive respect from me. And I hope you got a good laugh out of seeing me struggle so much. I did keep the video very long. I hope it wasn't too long, but considering that I did realize that this would be my only foray into controller gameplay. I wanted to give you guys as much content from that as possible since it is a one-off kind of video. Now with all of that being said, let's have a look at the end result. <laughs> 